Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Patty and this is my handmade lifestyle. I go by Patty Mac Makes everywhere online and on this YouTube channel you can find all sorts of makes, bakes, and plants and gardening. Basically on this channel we like to celebrate all things analog. So if you're all about living that analog life in this crazy digital world, then you've come to the right place and uh, you might want to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. So in fact, I think you should. If you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Click that little button. It's so easy. Click the little bell so you know when the new things go up like the video and tell all of your friends. <laughs> when you like the video and leave positive comments, it really helps the channel. It helps more people to find the channel and I really super appreciate it. So it has been uh, a minute since I just uh, sat down with you and shared some of the things I've been working on and making and, and that kind of a thing. Uh, in fact, when I looked back, the last video where I actually had a little sit down chat with you was um, in June. It's been a while. Um, that was when my niece graduated high school, my youngest niece, and now she's just uh, shipped off for boot camp. Uh, she joined the Navy and she's currently up in Wisconsin uh, doing all things Navy and I'm super proud of her. And um, my family has a long tradition with um, being in the service, involved with the service and all of that. So super proud of her for um, basically continuing in the family tradition. I thought I would just kind of pop in and um, show you a few of the new stash acquisitions that I have. And um, there's even a little bit of yarn in there. I sort of lost my knitting mojo this year. It's kind of been a rough year in knitting. I don't even want to get into it because everything is controversial and um, I don't want to be in the controversy. I, you know, I'm sorry. It's like I don't want to be name called because I'm not into being controversial. Uh, so anyway, that's why I changed my name. <laughs> I dropped knitting from my name because it just seemed like it was too darn controversial. Um, and now I'm all about makes and that happened also in June and it does feel more encompassing. I can uh, do more things and it makes more sense. And I have found some new crafts since I started the channel and started on my online crafting journey. And, um, even though I started with knitting, um, I'm doing some other things now. Uh, though I'm still knitting, so don't don't worry. There's going to be a little knitting in this um, show today, which I'm kind of excited about. It was nice to <laughs> check back in with um, what started it all and to actually enjoy it. Um, but I think first what I'm going to show you is, um, well, this is the room. I don't know that I've like really done a proper tour of the office so I'll have to plan that for us as well but you can see behind me this is my sewing table and up here is my beautiful new Ikea pegboard I'm loving this thing I recently got it I filmed a video about how I installed it so uh, I will link to that you should check it out if you are on the fence about one of these things I can't recommend it highly enough I'm loving it it looks cute. It cleaned up a bunch of mess for me. <laughs> I'm super happy about it. I'm actually going to add one in my bedroom to help me corral all of my um, lotions and potions and stuff because, you know, the older you get, the more stuff <laughs> you wind up using. It's, it's a little bit insane how much stuff I'm using now. <laughs> but you know what? whatever works <laughs> and it seems to help so anyway um the pegboard is awesome and uh yeah yeah okay so and this is a new project but we're not going to talk about that today I, I did like a whole series of things with a jelly roll and i'm going to just do a video on that so but you can enjoy it from afar i haven't quite finished see there's another 
um, whip on my table. And when I finish that whip, then I'll talk about all of that because I um, had a really good time uh, making custom stuff from a jelly roll and you can get a lot of cute little projects out of one jelly roll, which I think is kind of neat. So anyway, um, but that's not what we're talking about today. Today, I'm going to show you <laughs> some new fabric. Uh, some of this is what I got for myself for my birthday. My birthday was actually last month. Uh, so I'm a little late filming about it. Uh, it's been crazy. Let me just say, my mother came down sick this summer. And um, it's been rough. It's been rough for her. I really feel bad for her. Uh, it's also been hard on me because uh, I've had to like do everything. And, um, you know, even though it's a small house, it still has to be cleaned. I still have to do everything outside. And then I wound up having to take her for appointments and just really look after her, which, you know, I'm grateful I can do that. Don't misunderstand. Um, but it was a, like uh, a big change all of a sudden. <laughs> so it's it's been tricky this summer. And so like last month, I only had four videos that went up, you know, and I try to do twice a week. I couldn't do twice a week and I probably won't do twice a week this month either because, you know, it's <laughs> frankly, I can only do so much um, and I'm still getting my feet back under me from the summer. She's much better. She had shingles. Uh, let me tell you people, that's no joke. That is no joke. And the older you are, the worse it is. Um, so anyway, she's better. She's got to do a little physical therapy now. Um, and then we've got to get a few more things checked out. So anyway, that's, we're still doing a lot of doctor stuff. So anyway, um, that's what's going on. That's why I'm kind of behind with even getting my uh, birthday stuff out of the package. Uh, so let's do it now, shall we? Oh. Uh, before we get into the uh, heart and the meat of the crafting podcast for today, uh, it's not really a podcast without sharing a beverage. And um, today I am enjoying um, Wegmans brand coconut lime uh, seltzer water. It's really, really good. Okay, this is, I um, actually got this yesterday. So this is like the smallest <laughs> Joann's haul I've ever done. Um, there is also a little skinny yarn, but I'll show that to you when we get to the yarn. Uh, but I went in there yesterday and I purchased two uh, faux fur pom-poms. And they have them where they come in a little size and a big size. And this is the buttercream brand buttercream, which I think is the Joann's uh, store brand. I like their buttercream stuff. I've used their buttercream uh, yarn. I really, really liked it. Um, and I love these faux fur pom-poms. And um, I've used one in a project, which you're going to see, but you're going to have to stick around to see that in the video. Um, it's beautiful. I'm looking at it now. Uh, so anyway, I got these. I wasn't sure if I wanted to use the bigger, the little one, but I do have a project on the needles that I'm using this for, and we'll look at that too. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they come in, um, so they have them in like animal fur looking things, and they also have them in colors. So they're really pretty, and they were, they were not that expensive. Ah, <sighs> what did I pay? So the little one was $2.99. The big one was uh, $5.99, but I got it for 60% off. So that took $3.50 off the total. So I got uh, the two pom-poms and a little skin of yarn for uh, $9.68 with tax. And I have never in my life gotten out of Joann's for under $10. So I thought that was pretty good. These I like. This is another Joann's. Um, I don't really want to call it a haul because I don't I don't shop like these other people on here who come home with like just bags and bags of stuff. I don't I don't know how they afford it. Okay, how how do they do it? How do they go in there and come out with gigantic shopping bags full of stuff? I, I don't understand. Okay. Um for this particular um, purchase, let's look at the date here. When did I go? 8.15. So today is Labor Day, 9.3. Nine so 
<laughs> it's been three weeks since I went. Okay, Joanne's 8.15. So on this day, I got uh, fabric, pom-poms, which you're gonna see, uh, some embroidery floss. So this was a $32 shopping spree. <laughs> I mean, it's like $32 and all I got was just a couple of things. I mean, I went in for this because I busted my little needle threader that I use for embroidery and I've really been like so into the embroidery. Oh my gosh, love it. Um, but I broke my little threader so I had to get that. So that's what I went in for. So I got that and then while I was looking, I decided to try out some of this uh, variegated floss. Isn't that pretty? I've been doing um, a little bit more with my embroidery recently and I thought oh, I'm gonna try that and you'll see that stuff coming up. Um, and then these are the first pom-poms I got and isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. Uh, I don't know what it's going on yet but it's pink and I love pink. As you can tell, my walls are pink. I, I'm i all about the pink. So um, yeah, I really, really like this. What I need to do is I need to knit a hat in a soft green and pink, which are my um, brand colors. And I think that would be really cute on top. So I uh, got that. I also got a yellow one, but I'm gonna wait and show you that uh, when I show you the project because it's, it's on an actual FO. Um, and then I got this beautiful fabric. Oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that spectacular? It looks like that Rifle Paper Co. stuff, the cotton and steel. I know that's where they got the idea for this. Um, and uh, this is uh, some more of that stuff that they're printing in South Korea now because you know what the Chinese um, tariff situation. So can you read that? South Korea. Printed in South Korea. Um, yeah, with all the Chinese tariff stuff, uh, Joanne's is like moving more to um, South Korean suppliers. And I'm going to tell you something. This is nice fabric. I, <laughs> I really like it. Um, this is in the premium cottons which are on sale this this particular week that I'm recording this and you can get this beautiful fabric for $6.99 a yard. Um, I want more. I don't have anything to make with it and I've just got to stop buying stuff just because it's pretty <laughs> because I, I have to have a reason, you know, unfortunately. I'm just at that place. Um, but anyway, I have no reason for this, but I got three yards of it. It was just too pretty to not have. And something I learned from the shop clerk in there is that a lot of these florals, uh, they're like a one and done. So um, they get them one time and uh, whatever's in the shipment, that's what they have, that's what they sell, and they don't necessarily get it again. <sighs> you don't know. It's like gambling. So uh, if you see something you like, you probably want to get it because they may not have it. Um, this is nice fabric. And I uh, read something or saw something somewhere in a sewing group and they mentioned that the premium, I know it was in, it was in one of my professional groups actually. I'm in the Craft Industry Alliance and somebody in there said that the premium cottons um, in Joann's are every bit as nice as the stuff you're buying in the quilt store. And, uh, you know, it might be close to the same price, um, but, you know, Joanne's has coupons and it really does help. So, uh, but that being said, you should still support your local shops if you have them, because that's such a wonderful resource and you are supporting your, literally your friends and neighbors. And on that note, uh, I finally did go and visit the local quilt shop that we have here that's called Sarah's Thimble. And that was a beautiful shop. And boy, let me tell you, I could really get into a lot of trouble in that place. <laughs> it was very expensive. So I don't see my receipt, but as I recall, I spent in the neighborhood of $40. 
this is what I picked up actually on my birthday. Um, so I got these little squares and I got these, there's 42 squares and they're charm squares that are two and a half inch squares. And I got these because I want to participate in the um, Finch Bucket Stitch Along or Sew Along being hosted by Stitch Mischief. I have that pattern. I bought it like last summer and I still haven't made my own Finch Bucket. Um, so she's doing a sew along and I thought, well, that's like really good motivation to just get off my keister and make one of those. So I got these squares because she has them with the little squares. And then I got this to go with it as the contrast. And the woman in the quilting shop helped me pick that out. And it is pretty. I mean, it's really pretty. So um, let me see if you can just, I don't know if you can see these or not. Yeah. See, aren't they gorgeous? Anyway. You have to sew like quarter inch seams, so it, it will be an adventure putting this together. Uh, but I got this, and then I got a yard of this fabric, and then this is the really exciting thing. I have no idea what I'm doing with it. I don't didn't get anything to like you know go with it. I just bought the fabric because it was there. Um, but I got this, and this is a rifle paper co. Um, fabric and oh my god this stuff even the selvage is beautiful look at how they print the selvage i've never seen anybody on here show the selvage but look at that isn't it beautiful so you know you're gonna pay more for this but look at the just beautiful touches so there's their brand name and all of this is actually printed in japan and this is a nice fabric. So I don't know what it's going to be. I got two yards of it. Uh, it was expensive. It was like 14 or 14 or $15 a yard. It was not cheap, but oh my God, look at it. So yeah, that's, that's now in my stash. Um, but this is going to be my Finch bucket. So, um, that was my birthday. That's what I got. Um, and my good friend took me out uh, to eat. So we, um, well, we went to the library because that's my favorite thing to do. So he humored me and took me to the library and he actually enjoyed it. Um, so we did that. I returned some books. I got some more books. We went out to eat and then we went to Ikea on the way home. And that's when I got the pegboard. So that was kind of a birthday thing. And uh, Ikea, when you sign up with them, you get a coupon that you can use on your birthday for 15 bucks. So I got this like, I don't know, $12 maybe after the coupon. So that was good. Um, and I had a ticket for a free lunch, uh, but I didn't get it for back over in time. I just, I haven't had any time. So anyway, but I did get the pegboard. So I'm happy about that. Um, let me show you a couple things I've made. So that last uh, crafting check-in I did with you, um, I had purchased uh, the seahorse material and I made a couple things. And so one of the things I'm going to put up on screen for you to see now, and I made uh, that little bag for my uh, niece I mentioned earlier who went into the Navy. Um, I asked my brother what she liked and he said she really liked sharks, but I couldn't find anything with uh, sharks. So I went with, um, seahorses and you know just fish because you know the navy <laughs> um so i made her that little bag and then i wound up making this large drawstring bag isn't that cute and i thought about giving it to her but you know you never know with young people if they're gonna like something and then when it's you know, made from your aunt, right? You know, are they going to like it? Or are they just going to just say, oh, thanks. Toss, right? I don't know. So um, anyway, but I made this and I love it. I'm using it as a knitting project bag for myself. And I will tell you, I'm contemplating when I get myself together, um, sewing some of these um, as project bags, because 
it's, it's such a nice bag. Oh my God, look at, and I like the drawstring over the, um, the zipper because then nothing gets caught in it. And um, this size, I mean, it holds pretty good size project. So I'm um, knitting a hat and I have two projects in here. So this is a hat and I'm knitting on, and this is all from Stash. I'm not, well, I did buy yarn, but I'm not buying a lot of yarn. I'm actually selling yarn is what I'm doing. I've been putting yarn on Etsy and selling it. So that's been going well. Um, but this is from uh, Wool in the Gang. And this is their beautiful, crazy, sexy wool. And look how pretty that is. Ooh. So I have that color, which I think is called Sherpa Blue. And then I'm striping with this lighter blue. And I don't remember what that's called. But it's just, um, this is just like a made up pattern. I'm just, I'm just knitting to enjoy knitting again, to be honest with you, because I didn't for several months. For several months, I couldn't even pick it up and do it. It was just like uh, the word that young people use now is it was triggering. I found it very triggering just to even pick up and look at knitting. And then I just decided I miss it and I'm not going to let them take it away from me. Uh, I enjoy it. And I'm going to do it in spite of the politics surrounding all of it. Because I think you can craft and not be political, but you know, anyway, that makes me a bad person in um, a lot of people's eyes. Um, okay, so I mentioned I got yarn also on that um, Joanne's purchase yesterday, and this is what I got. And this is a Lion brand product, and it's called Manny Petty. It's a fingering weight yarn, it's self striping. And um, I just thought, ooh, wouldn't that be really pretty uh, fingerless mitts? And wouldn't that be pretty with the hat? I think it will. So that's what's gonna happen. Um, so I started swatching it. And it's really a trip when you're knitting something on 15s and then you go down to twos, which is what I'm on here. But you can see, I'm just, I just started the swatch last night. I stopped the hat because I'm to the decreasing and I really need to be like fresh and have light to get nice decreases. So I put that to the side and I just did that little mindless knitting on, uh, on this. And, um, yeah, anyway, I want to get a good swatch of that and then I'll know what my gauge is and then I'm going to cast on and do some fingerless mitts for this year. I used to knit the daylights out of fingerless mitts. I mean, it was like all I made. Um, and then I don't know what happened. I'm not really sure. But anyway, both of those um, projects fit into this bag. So that was like a big bulky project and the fingering weight project. And they both tucked right in. So yeah, I love this. I'm so excited about it. And I just like, um, I took, well, yeah be three different sewing videos I've looked at and came up with this as its own deal. So I'm super proud of it. Um, and I like using it. And I've got smaller ones that I'll use as my purse now. So that's going on. Um, okay, so here is my um, finished knitting project. Is that fun? So it is, um, this is Wool in the Gang, Wool in the Gang. Uh, everything's Wool in the Gang except this part. And this part is a Joann's um, store brand. Oh, I forget what it's called. Uh, I'll put it on the, um, down here for you. I like this yarn and I held it double. So I held the cream and the yellow together, which is why it's kind of this thing that it's doing. And this is the other pom-pom I got, this yellow. Um, so this yarn I really like, and I actually knitted, uh, last winter before the proverbial, um, crap hit the fan in the knitting community and I was still enjoying it. I knitted uh, two, um, bulky weight shawl patterns that are beautiful shawls. And then everything went haywire and you know what? I didn't even finish them. So they're like tucked in the closet over here. I need to get them on block. I need to get um, the ends woven in and I need to get them on a model and photographed. 
and uh, I'm just gonna wait at this point until it's fall and photograph it in the fall and I'll put them out in the winter because they are beautiful beautiful projects and I am going to release them in spite of all of the the stuff going on but let me show you the hat because I really really love it oh isn't it fun look at that oh god so there you go there's the side view there's the top and isn't that just the best pom-pom on there so yeah I'm super excited about having um, cooler weather so that I can wear this and um, I'm doing basically the same um, it's not really a pattern it's just a basic hat I'm doing the same thing with the other the blue and it's gonna get that uh, animal um, faux, faux fur animal looking palm and this is the bigger palm so you can see like here's the one I got see they're, they're the same size oh maybe or maybe this is a smaller one let's see hmm. all right so I guess this is the big one because they look very close in size um, so I got a big and a small, but I like the big. I mean, this is a bold hat anyway. So, you know, with a bold hat, you want a bold palm. And um, I like how it picks up the yellow. I think that looks cute. So that'll be fun to wear <sighs> if it ever cools off. It's like, <sighs> it's literally like uh, 104 degrees out today. So, yeah that's going on okay that's everything I ran through as quickly as I possibly could <laughs> I'm trying to keep the videos condensed so that you can actually watch them and enjoy them um, that's all I got for you I hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you are new to the channel and this is your first time uh, watching one of my little crafting podcast um, welcome and um, this is not all that I do. I have quite a variety of things on the channel, so check that out. And if you're a returning viewer, you know, I always appreciate you so very much. You mean the world to me. Um, okay, that's that's what I got. Uh, so we're just going to say uh, that's it. And I hope that your week is going well. And uh, peace out, everybody, and make it a good one. Okay, I'll see you next time. <laughs>